morning, good morning, Tucker team. We're glad you guys joined us today. Today I thought I'd do kind of a day in the life of um, what we do. Today's Wednesday. Uh, luckily today we don't have any cheer or karate. Those are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Those are crazy busy afternoons. Um, but basically, uh, this is just a, kind of a day. We actually... It's been kind of a hectic last two weeks. We finally got Jason back home. He's been gone for about a month. He was on TDY for about three weeks in California. And then he came home for about 24 hours. And then um, he left to go visit his family up in um, Ohio. Uh, Cause he is due to uh, be sent overseas in the next couple of months. And so this was kind of the last opportunity before that before he left um he always we always try to send him back to visit family before any kind of major um major tdy or deployment uh just to kind of visit and get to you know see um family members and stuff because we are so far apart his family lives mostly on the um the in the on the northwestern side of the united states in the um, washington oregon area we're stationed in um, El Paso, and I have family on in like the central uh, Texas area. A lot of like the um, Amarillo, Fort Worth, Austin, that kind of that area. So we try to um, visit family when we can, and so we finally got him back for about two um, about two weeks ago, and so we've been adjusting to having him back, and we're loving every minute of it, and. Um, kind of coming back together and spending some good family time together and um so that's why there hadn't been too many vlogs going up and um, just more of either the signing videos or um uh, I tried my first live which turned out amazing I was so honored to see the people that showed up and we just kind of just talked a little bit and then um just getting adjusted to our new extracurricular uh schedule uh, for a while there, it was Monday and Wednesdays, Matthew would have karate, and then Madison would have cheer on Tuesday, Thursday. Well, he took his last belt test, and he passed, and so he's now a blue-white belt, and um, he was uh, asked if he would like to join the Black Belt Club, which is basically a more advanced class that helps him, you know, work his way up to a black belt if that is his goal. And Matthew was really, really excited and really, really wanted to do it, and so we've been we've been working on getting him in that and he finally got in there and um so but that meant that the class has changed from monday wednesday to tuesday thursday and so <laughs> that piled everything on there luckily because of my night blindness um i'm not able to drive at night and so a a, a, a mom her daughter is on the same cheer team that Madison is on and her mom has been so kind and she's um, been taken, been able to take Maddie back and forth to practice on Tuesday, Thursdays because when the time change, it gets dark right around 5, 5.15 and her practice is at 6 and there was no way I was going to be able to do that and so it was trying to figure out a way to get her to and from practice because I don't want my limitation to stop her from pursuing her dreams and goals of being a cheerleader. She wants to be a cheerleader in high school and possibly um, gain a scholarship to go do it in college. And she did recently realize that the NFL had cheerleaders, so now that's been her big goal. She wants to be an NFL cheerleader. We'll see what happens because she also wants to be a paleontologist. She wants to be an artist. She wants to be a mom. She wants to be so many things, which of course we're encouraging. Like you can do whatever it is you want to do. You don't have to box yourself into, like, one role. So that's really cool to see. Um, but that's basically what's been going on the last two weeks, just trying to get everything figured out. We also have been um, toying around with the idea of retiring and where are we going? Not we, Jason. Jason retiring. He's the one that's been, you know, working for the past 20 years. Well, 18 now, but it'll be 20 in the next little bit obviously and um he's the one that's been putting in all the hard times and the hours and the sacrifices and stuff so he's been playing around with the idea of retiring in the next 
year and a half when he's eligible or staying in for the next for an extra two years and um in the conversations that we've been having we were kind of toying we're kind of leaning towards retiring um in the next year and a half we've been looking and um, trying to figure out where we're going to retire where he's going to retire where we're going to live after that um and we've been toying with the idea of this um little bitty tiny town called uh whitney texas is close to where i grew up it's about an hour and a half uh, south of where i grew up so i still have family in that area um and uh we like the idea of just kind of living in a small town we like the idea of being closer to family members um having some land i am digging the idea of finally being able to have a garden that i can keep going with instead of having to start restart every two to three years which has been kind of a pain but it's been also a great learning process i've learned a lot of things i'm loving the idea of maybe having some chickens some cows and things like that so it was really really awesome uh we are actually already looking at some property that looks really really um uh, really really good to us we are in contact with an amazing realtor he's awesome and my mom and dad have been really good about helping us by either going to travel the travel the land just go see the land not travel i mean they live 20 minutes away um to go see the land for us face time us meet with the realtor because it's kind of hard to do when we're 10 hours 12 hours away here in el paso um so we've also been looking at that so there's been a lot going on we also and it's not stopping in the month of october alone our weekends are pretty much packed we have um this weekend a trunk or treat with maddie cheer team next weekend and maddie's birthday party is on the 13th i can't believe my baby girl she's turning nine on friday nine years old oh my gosh i never thought i'd be a mom of a nine-year-old and boy is she sassy oh my gosh she's sassy she may or may not have gotten that from her mother but i digress <laughs> um the next weekend we have um the trunk or treat at or the fall festival at um the kids school then the weekend after that we have the trunk or treat at kaylin school and then <laughs> the weekend after that is halloween so we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on this weekend, the, this month, and I'm so grateful that Jason is here to be able to experience that with us, um, and he's really excited. He hasn't really been able to, since we moved here, really been a part of, like, the kids' Christmas programs or the kids, like, the whole fall festival, trunk or treat, Halloween type things and things like that, so we are really, really glad that... Um, at least for now, because, I mean, with the Army, thing changes every single day. So, like, it could be, you're good to go, you're home for the holidays, or you're home for Halloween. Oh, by the way, we changed our mind, we're going to have you leave at this time, and then just readjust. So, that's the life of the military, you just expect the worst, but hope for the best. I think I may have flipped that, but anyway, that, and you just got to be flexible, honestly, you just... You're allowed to get frustrated, you're allowed to get angry, but you can't get mad at the soldier himself because he's not the one calling the shot. I mean, it's just, he's just following what his mission is. And if you think about it, it's like really any other job. If your boss tells you A, B, C, and D, you need to do A, B, and C, and D if you wanna get paid and get the benefits and all that stuff. So, can't really complain and I don't really get angry. I just get frustrated sometimes because a lot of times I get my hopes up and then something changes like, oh, doggone it. And then I just kind of, I kind of pout for a minute and then I just put my big girl panties on and move on. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Just like, just like with anything in life, it's, nothing is ever guaranteed. You just got to enjoy and be grateful for the moment that you've been given.
just got I just got done uh, making some uh, vegetable loaded uh, spaghetti sauce for our supper. This one I'm gonna use for tonight's supper, and then these others I'm waiting for them to steal up. Uh, these others will go in the freezer, and this is a pretty good amount for us when we make spaghetti. The kiddo they don't like a whole whole lot of sauce when they eat spaghetti, so this is actually a perfect amount. For tonight's supper, I'm doing stuffed shells, so I need a little bit extra. I hope you like this video. Be sure to like us on Instagram and on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of our links for our merch for our merch is down below. Good, good night. Like the video. Bye.